God lives and works today. The Bible means it when it describes God as the Father of patience. There has never been anyone more patient than He. We should be ashamed in view of our own impatience and inability to wait. Listen to today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called Jesus is Waiting. Haven't we all caught ourselves at times being impatient? Impatience is a characteristic that goes along with pride, for proud and haughty people don't know how to wait. The mark of the high and mighty is that they expect everything they demand to be carried out the minute they open their mouths. They can't wait. They can't endure any opposition or delay, and they can't bear to have their will be crossed. One day I was struck by a verse in Revelation. Chapter 11, verse 15, tells about a mighty heavenly choir which is praising God and singing, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. The word has moved me deeply, for it didn't say that the world will become God's kingdom. No, it has become. Jesus is already Lord and King, and nevertheless he doesn't practice his kingship. That was inconceivable for me. Furthermore, Jesus patiently bears being rejected, hated, mocked, treated shamefully, and disgraced. He waits, as it is written in the scriptures, until all of his enemies are made his footstool. I was overwhelmed by the evidence of Jesus' humility, that he can wait so long and humbly endure the abuse of his enemies, not only long ago on his way to the cross, but today too, he need only say one word, and all of his opponents would be instantly crushed and destroyed. But Jesus waits, and continues to wait so that many may still be saved. This picture of the waiting Jesus helped me to fight against my own impatience, and to become free from it, for I don't have to wait to ask for Jesus' help. He's our mighty King and Redeemer, upon whom we can call for help right now. Jesus, you are my We are now entering the last times of which the Bible speaks in Revelation 13, saying that we will all need to have endurance and faith. Everything depends upon our learning and practicing patience now, day by day, so that when the hour of trial comes upon the whole world, we will be able to endure patiently, with humble hearts, until Jesus comes again. And then he will lift us out of the tribulation and establish his glorious kingship. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.